Hi everyone, it's me Darlene, alone again. I'm in Walmart, all by my lonesome. Did they move things? I want to get some kind of floaty things for Skylar and me so we can uh, have fun on the waves at the beach. And um, she was gonna come with me. We played games, she had lunch. She's a little tired. She's like, do you mind if I stay home? And I'm like, why don't you even try to take a nap? Because we're going to be going to the beach later. So she's with my mom, which I love because they don't get to see each other much. Skylar's always on my side of the house and we're gone a lot. So she's hanging out with her grand mame. And I have to come here. I have a few other things. Uh, you know, I'm going to look at the boogie board type things. I don't know. I don't know what they're even called. I just think it would be fun to, uh, you know, just to have something to hang on to. And I can uh, last longer in the water that way. And just to ride the waves, go up and down. It's kind of fun. Anyway, I got caught talking with my hands to a uh, camera. Um... I need a few other things here, and then I have to go to Shaw's to pick up some of the best sirloin steak I've ever eaten. I think I've only had sirloin once in the going on two years that I've been eating meat, just meat, and um, I think it was petite sirloin. It was steaks, and it wasn't tender like what I'm getting right now. It's only $3.79 a pound, and I only bought like three packages to try it, and oh my god, it's so good. Skylar loves it. She's been having just meat every day for lunch, and uh, then she has what she wants for dinner time. But um, I'm going to talk to patrons from the Shaw's parking lot. I will talk to you guys here in the store, my regular channel, and I'll probably say bye in the car, and then I'll go to Shaw's and I'll do something for my patrons that I'm excited to do because I need, I need change in Patreon, and that's what I'm going to talk about. Okay, um, I'm going to look at what I can buy for floaties and I will show you what I get. Oh my goodness, I'm so hot. After much debating and two phone calls with Skylar, <laughs> we decided on this size boogie board or whatever they're called and she can't see the pictures but I told her all the pictures and she liked the idea of flowers and palm trees so I took one of each and she can pick which one she wants. I would have liked this size I think it's just a little bit smaller, and I think I would have liked that better, but I should have gone with that. And those have handles. Those do not, the ones that I'm getting. And those come with the cord for this part right here, the other ones. And these don't. How odd is that? They can't... Oh, what do we have? <gasps> we have a handle on the back. But why wouldn't it come with that cord? I don't know, maybe it does. You'd think it would. All right, I'm so hot. Hot alert. And um, got other stuff to get. I picked up some beach shoes for myself, mostly for in case we go to swim at the lake because it's a, a rocky bottom. I like to walk on clear sand and I want to know if I'm going to step on a crab or a crawfish <laughs> if it's in the lake. Oh my god, it is so hot in here, and um, I hate those other kind of water shoes, you know, that are like elastic covered. I don't like those. I used to love the jellies that were popular. Were they popular in the 80s? Was it in the 80s or 90s? 80s, I do believe. I used to love those shoes. I wore those in the water all the time, but I've got these. I'm going to pass out. I'd like to get a pair like this for Skylar, but she's not here to try any on. Oh my God. I actually think I'm ready to go to the car, and um, I'll talk to you there. Oh, and I could not make up my mind on which size body board they're called. And so I also picked up the smaller ones. I got that. This is the one I want. I love me some gecko. And so I'm buying four. Skylar can pick what she wants. I'll decide what I want. I'll return the others. <sighs> hot. It is so incredibly hot. Wow. Oh, it's down to 89. It was higher. <laughs> Talking while trying to adjust you. Okay. That's all I got. Four body boards and one pair of shoes for me. I need some actual other shoes because I've been wearing the ones that I wear to the beach. So they're all like 
flattened out and it's full of sand and um wow Skyla was like at first a little earlier she wanted to go to the beach and then she's like I don't think I want to go to the beach but I think it's because she's tired but she was like so happy that I called her to ask her what she wanted for the boards so it was kind of cool and I think she's excited so I have to run to Shaw's now to buy steaks oh gee I got to chat with you two days in a row I like that like I said before I sound like a broken record I will be uh, back at it when Skylar is gone I have to throw myself into work and you know it's I hate for her to leave but I'm glad I have that to look forward to I'm glad that I even want to do it because you guys don't know how much I didn't want to you know it's funny a lot of the uh, youtubers that I follow happen to be going through the same thing we all know that bunny went through this whole thing and uh, you know and I know I can tell I can tell she's still struggling a little bit um, not that you know she's not doing well but you know the few things that she says her too it's like she wants to find the love for it again and she wants to do what her audience wants and I think that that is a little bit of her her problem is she really has to just do what she wants I think I'll call her <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> as if I would ever even approach someone with advice that they did not ask for you know that's not up my alley so um but there's another one that I watch um slick and natty she's from India and I, I, I believe she's still living in India and she started her channel only like maybe two years ago and she just skyrocketed all of India must be watching her um, I found her doing uh, by searching for clothing transformations and her transformations are interesting to me because she does a lot of hand sewing a lot of people in India don't have sewing machines so they'll go someplace to have something sewn or they hand sew so I liked that but she's also an excellent businesswoman and I like that uh, she was like three months without a video and I wondered I wondered what happened if she just you know gave up or you know got a different job or whatever she was in a six-figure job and she quit that job for YouTube so she was making some bucks if that was the decision she was able to make she said she just came out with a video not long ago uh, maybe like a week ago I don't know that she was away and she said she had a lot of things going on a wedding they moved they were taking a vacation I believe to China so there was a lot of things but then she was like but the truth is I could have still recorded during all that but uh, she she kind of lost her love for it she just lost it and she wasn't in the mood there is a, a, a very high level of burnout doing YouTube videos there really is I'm surprised I lasted as long as I did when I started going daily full-time and daily over two years ago so many people said oh you're just gonna burn out so quick don't do so many you're gonna burn out you know I I lasted what two and a half years doing daily videos I don't think that's burnout um, too quick I think I did a really good long run and I'm absolutely proud of that very proud of that because so many people say they're gonna do something and they don't you know end up doing it and I try hard not to say I want to do something because I don't like not completing something I really don't and I still have things that I didn't complete like that ridiculous block party series I still have those blocks haunting me I think I really should just pack those suckers up you know put them on eBay or something as is get rid of them and just you know say I'm cutting the ties with that it's not possible to finish everything but it is possible to say it in a way that you don't Feel like you have to finish it so I try very hard to not say I'm doing a 10 part series and it's going to be about this I don't want to do that because I don't want to be committed so I like to try to use words like I will attempt to or you know I'm aiming for and uh, because I just um, I take it too seriously and I don't like to back down from what I've said and there's a few other things that I said I would do oh that the new YouTube stats and other stuff 
you know, I had stopped the first series because I was tired of it and I thought I could put a spin on it to bring back the love. And no, sometimes it's better to just let go of something and just really let it go. But if you remember right, I had a lot of people on my case on, about that. They were like, they wanted that series. So I, you know, I tried really hard to do to do a comeback with that and it just petered out. So, you know, when I come back, it's going to be, oh, I'm so fucking jumpy all the time. I'm going to try to just do what I want and, and I'm going to try really hard to not make promises that I might not be able to keep. I think that's the best way to go. I do. All right. I'm going to stop talking now because I have to go get steak and record for patrons and then go home and we have to decide on our boogie boards. And I still need to sew for myself. I looked in Walmart for like very stretchy. I, I would need some like spandex you know, with a lot of spandex. Like bathing suit fabric is what I would like because that dries really quick. But I didn't see anything that I wanted in there because I want like shorts to the knees and a tank top but not like spaghetti strap tank top I'd like for my shoulders to be covered just you know to not burn all the time I don't do sunscreen I just don't I don't like the feel of anything I don't I don't want to spray I don't want any of that and um what was my point? So I really have to go in my cellar and look at what I have for any kind of stretchy fabric just to make myself at least a shirt. And I, if I found the right fabric, I don't think I have any in the cellar though, but I would just cut a pair of my leggings open and use that as a pattern. That would make a good video. But I wanted to do that while Skylar's here, but I don't really want to record that while she's here. But I'm planning on going to the beach after she leaves. So maybe I'll make myself an outfit and that can be a video. Maybe. Not promising. All right. That is it. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with more soon. Bye.